everybody. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Mr. Neal, and I'm the one proposing a Design for Change Studio elective next year for grades 9 and 10. And for those of you that maybe missed my presentations in Homeroom, I make this quick screencast for you. So what is this proposal? First thing to say is that this runs less like a classroom and more like a startup company. There's all kinds of organizations currently using something called design thinking methodology. One of the ones that I had uh, the pleasure of working with in Boston was IDEO, a world famous design firm, but even Stanford, um, MIT's Media Lab as well, and even places like Project Runway, if you're a fan of that show, use a specific methodology or a way of thinking to try to solve a variety of problems within a group structure. And so this is a graphic that shows what design thinking kind of looks like, and it's um, a touchstone of what we'll use in this studio model. But essentially what it's about is working in a team, finding a problem, working in a team to design a solution from an empathetic point of view, looking at a specific user or person that you're designing for and trying to look at the problem through their perspective. And then within a team coming up with Iteration, 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 prototyping, different solutions, testing those prototypes, getting feedback, and going back through the design process until you eventually implement your solution, whether that be publishing um, this somewhere, trying to take it to market, the product, or in our case, it'll be presenting to a panel of experts. And right now, it seems like probably a studio will run for about a month. But during that time, you'll operate much the same way that a group of students who are say in a, um, a maybe a, a studio for architecture and learning how to be an architect but you put your ideas up on the wall you sketch them out you build them to scale out of cardboard or wire or other things and so it's a lot of learning by doing this video really quickly shows at the American School of Bombay they've worked with New View a company that um, or a kind of design school that teaches this kind of process and this is just to give you a sample of the kind of things that students will do. There's coding, using artwork, using just simple cardboard even to map out your ideas, test them before you use different more sophisticated ways of producing your learning artifact. But every studio is going to produce something tangible, something concrete that you can see. And I'll put this just in the middle. I'm now in the middle. So what kind of um, Things will you learn? Well, you're going to learn some coding. You're going to use Arduinos. Um, you're going to learn public speaking and 3D graphic design. And it's important for me to state that I know how to do some of these things really well, like public speaking. I have no idea how to code, but we'll be learning it together. So this is less me teaching you the skills and more me finding the people who can and finding your talents uh, within the students who can teach the rest of us how to do these different things. Things. And it's really exciting. I hope you're interested in this kind of thing. Everything that we do will have a social justice focus, meaning we're going to try to look at our world, both local and global, and see how we can fix problems that we find within them. Here are some of the proposed topics that I think we'll cover, but sometimes I'm going to give you the topic that we're going to cover, but more often I hope that we'll look at some samples and decide together what do we want to focus on next. And for that purpose, this question mark is most important because your passions, your interest, your input will shape the flow of what we cover. Finally, what kind of student needs to think about applying for this? And these are just some of the adjectives. If you're an independent thinker, that's key. You have to be somebody who can produce work on your own with some help from a coach, but that yourself started in working within a group. You have to have some kind of desire and want to change the world. You have to have some interest in doing something to make this world different. Being creative, open-minded, team player, and I think the most important, curious and passionate are the kind of people that we're hoping will sign up for this. So I hope you're excited. Thanks for listening and maybe see you next year.